Now that you finished part three where you were putting your clips together and matching them all to the song and try to make it as perfect as possible, now it's time to move on to part four where you're going to be doing the final touch-ups for your video. So that means editing the coloring or the brightness or contrast and all the other basic stuff with that clip to make all the clips in your edit match together. So that way one of your clips doesn't have like a different coloring or different shading or something that's like completely off in that video. So you want to make it all in one um, perfect like same contrast. So what you're going to do is you're just going to find all the clips that don't match up and you're just going to match them up. That's basically what you're going to be doing and that's going to be like the final touches of the project. So I will be showing you guys how to do that. I'll be showing you guys how to do lighting, contrast and all that by just matching the clips together and making everything uh, as close as possible together so it's not um, so one clip isn't different from the other one so it could flow a little bit smoother okay so you should have everything saved from our last part that's what I told you guys to do before closing your programs to save it so everything should be saved so what you're going to do now is you're just gonna look through all your clips and see what's right and what's wrong and I know a lot of the clips from IS5 with the uh, easy tricks to hard tricks. I know that there's going to be some dark and some bright clips because when I'm filming for an hour or an hour and a half for those clips, I just a cloudy day. So when it's a cloudy day, that means that when the clouds pass by, it makes it a little bit more shadow or a little bit darker for some clips and a little bit brighter for other clips. So I got to make sure that everything matches up. And also in this process, you might actually have to crop some of the clips too. So you might as well just do that as well. So you see like the third clip, the third trick that I did was a little bit brighter than the first two clips. So what I'm going to do, I don't like darkening my clips, I'd rather brighten them up. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you're just going to have to double click. And when you double click, it starts going to color, animations, audio, and this is where you're going to be doing all your editing. So white balance, color, uh, enhancement uh, so what we're going to look at is tone that's basically where, that's basically where you're only going to be at is tone because that's where you have your brightness and contrast so what you're going to do is you're going to brighten this clip up just a little bit so let's say 10 and then contrast you just try to look for what would match and let's go to the second to last clip. So I remember that brightness was 10. So let's just move it up to 10 one more time. And 40, I think that was. So let's just move it up to 40. There's 30, let's see. And now what you're going to do is you're going to move your utility marker. And you're just going to see how those clips... Okay, so if you look what side by side, you can see that that clip is still dark. So let's just brighten it up a little more. So just double tap again, brighten it up somewhere around there. I'm sorry, I think that looks better. Yeah. Looking at the clips, you want to look them side by side with the ones you want, so you can match the brightness of the colors. So this is the clip I'm editing, but you can see that the other clip, it's a little bit brighter or darker so you can see I just changed it but I changed it so it could be a little brighter and it's a lot better so now you're gonna match the first clip with the second clip side to side so you can see that it's darker so just go to the first clip and brighten it up and let's see what we used for that we used 28 so I'm just gonna match the, the amount of brightness so it's gonna be 28 you can also go into the numbers type it in 28 and now let's see how it looks. See, now it does have that differentiation of color. Now this one, the heel flip is also a little bit different color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it as well. So the kick flip was a little bit darker and the heel flip was a little bit lighter. So I'm actually going to darken the heel flip a little bit. Just a little bit. Does a little too much right there. So I think minus 15 is good. Let's look at it. Yeah. So minus 15, it looks a lot better. So let's look at it one more time. 
bang, and it looks a lot better. Now the Mali flip is also a little bit too dark. What you have to do when you slow mode a trick and it's in three parts, you're gonna have to just match all the numbers. So I think it's gonna be the same thing as the last one. So minus 15, you go to each one. You could obviously do this before you um, slow mode the clip. You don't know if that clip is going to be used or not. So you're just putting extra time in. So I wasn't trying to do that. I'd rather just slow mo it one by one and then put the clips together and then put the coloring or changing of the touch ups of the clip last. But you just want to make sure they're all the same numbers, so minus 15. So let's see how that looks. Uh, it's a little. And most of the time you want to do coloring or brightness touch-ups is when you're actually in winter because in winter that's when the sunlight has a different angle and then you have like the street lights as well so it's kind of mixes this up makes it, the clips a little bit more blue um, you got three shove again that three shove is a little bit darker than the other clips so I'm just gonna brighten it up a little bit go like 13 let's see how that looks yeah so I just gotta go a little bit more up Maybe like 18. This isn't really that hard. It's just very tedious because you met, you got to make sure that every clip is the same. So that was the thumbnail. So, and now we're going to go back, watch the clips one more time. It just keeps you got to keep watching them back and back. So that way, all the clips are mashed up together. So let's just look at this. Back 180. And then tray flip. I actually want to look at the back 180 a little bit one more time because I know that the back 180 was, uh, I think, a different coloring. So let's just look at that. So this one's a little bit brighter. And then, like, the back 180 is a little bit more bluish. It's hard to tell, but it's a little bit more blue. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into. In a lot of programs, it shows auto, but don't use auto just because of uh, the fact that sometimes your computer isn't smarter than you. So it's better off just you um, doing it yourself. When you go to temperature, if you go to the right, it's going to make it more redder. And if you go to the left, it's going to make it a lot more bluer. So if I know this clip is a little bit more blue because of the lighting, then I want to go to the right to cancel that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Go a little bit to the right, not too far where it turns red, just before. And then you have tint, which makes it either more purple or more greenish. So let's just adjust it a little bit right there. And I think that should be good. It looks better. And then let's go to... So now let's look at the clips before and the clips after. And let's see... So you can see for the colors of the 88 tray flip, now the 88 tray flip looks a little bit more greenish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tint and try and even it out with the other clip to make it a little bit more equal. So now you're gonna go, keep it around two because that clip is going to match the clip after it, a little bit more greenish. Then you can see that the IS-5 clips. So I'm going to watch the IS-5 clips by itself. So I just press OK to keep the changes. And let's go over here to watch the IS-5 clips and see how they match. So the front shove is very bright. Bright. They all match. That looks good. Kick flip is good. That one's a little bit brighter, but I'm going to just keep it. It's not that. And... So I want to kind of put the contrast for um, the three shove a little bit higher because the contrast for a three shove, it's a little, just a little bit too, like my clothing with the board kind of messes it up. So let's just see how it looks like now. So, all right, so I'm going to keep it at like 25 and that should be good. And... That's all you have to do. It's just you just look at it. You play around with the settings of your clip to adjust the coloring. And once you adjust the coloring, that's when you just have to um, make sure that everything matches. And and sometimes when you're doing music, and the song goes from very dark to bright, 
then you want to make sure that you do the same thing with your clips. Um, another thing you could also do is effects. And I told you guys not to use effects, but sometimes you just do what you got to do. So if let's say you have a dark clip or something, you want to use uh, change the feeling of the clip. You just put it on top and it's going to filter that clip to make it dark. So like this. And it has to match the song. That's the only time you're ever going to use effects. But I personally don't like using it. Um, or if you're using a... You're going to want to use an old school filter to your clips to make it match kind of the uh, theme. So I personally don't like doing effects because effects really messes up the clip. And it's just skateboarding. It's not going anything crazy. But if you're doing like for a Red Bull company or a Monster videos then you could see that they actually put a lot of effort into it to make it more cinematic and make it more like entertaining. But if you're doing it for Instagram or something for yourself, or then I wouldn't recommend it unless you're doing it for a company. Uh, but that's really it. This is probably the shortest part of editing because all you're doing is just going one by one. And of course, I only use like maybe 10 clips, but if you have like 30 clips, it's obviously this will take a lot longer because you have to make sure you match all the clips together. Well, that should be it. Now, the last part of this project is just exporting and making sure that everything's good. Uh, so that will be in the next part, part five. Uh, thanks for watching and make sure you guys go on to part five to learn more about exporting. Um, but that should be it. Uh, I'll see you guys later.